Hey lovies, Tasha Monet here back with another episode of The Sims Medieval Pirates and Nobles with Lord Oliver the Great of Serenity. So we are actually going to be playing a quest called Jacobin's Day Out. And it was hard out there for a Jacobin. The Watcher was constantly on your case about being a better person and donating more to the church and your local proclamation seemed to change what's right and what's wrong every other day. What was a Jacobin to do? Take a trip to the place where it all started, of course, a pilgrimage to Jacob's birthplace and the start of the modern day Jacobin faith could turn a stressing into a blessing. So we do know that we do have a Jacobin priest who is also Oliver's wife. So we're going to be playing with Oliver's wife today um in order to go ahead and see what's happening so the greatest adventurer we're going to be playing with shepherdess colleen to see what we can get into with this here so shepherdess colleen gazed up at the sky she sighed there seemed to be nothing lacking in the past few days an absence in her soul there was something she yearned for a trip to the holy land unfortunately the trip was arduous and costly the first thing shepherdess colleen would do was approach the monarch the throne was usually willing to help enrich it, enrich its kingdom citizens so she can definitely ask her husband um petition great uh, uh, lord oliver the great for this pilgrimage um what is happening here oh they're roughhousing lord i was so confused on what was happening okay so you know she's talking to her husband she's just like look like for my faith like i would really like to go ahead and see what i can you know like figure out like Let's see here. I will help finance your trip to a degree. If you can raise 100 simol and bring it to me, I can supply the rest of the money needed for your pilgrimage. Oh, and you'll need to provide your own bag, of course. So we need to figure out how we're going to go ahead and get this money so we can do some fundraising or we can use our own funds. I think that she is going to go ahead and use these funds here because we live with the king. Why freaking not? So Colleen is out attempting to do some things that she needs to do, which one, she needs to um, get this bag from a traveling merchant, Averill, um, but she also needs a better relationship with this person. So she is doing what she can to make sure that this happens. So she's trying her best, right? She converted her. So now we can get a bag because we converted. Um, and then she also needs to persuade the pirate. Which I think if she were to convert the pirate, she'd be able to do that. So let's see. Another vital ingredient for a successful pilgrimage is a Jacobin neckerchief. I'll need to um, find some Jacobin cloth in order to have one fashioned. If memory serves, there should be some stashed away in the forest. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Where is Attendant Clifton? Um, did he see me during those conversions? I need to find him and make sure the lesson sinks in. Okay. So let's go ahead and teach the Jacobin lesson. The core of our church is people, and we need to be continually increasing our numbers. Conversion is an important aspect of our roles in the church, and it should never be taken lightly. Next, I shall teach you about absolution. Please pay attention. So what does she need to do? Absolve for one hour and then search the vault. So let's go ahead and let's absolve Sims for an hour. Okay, so absolution is a great way to connect with our congregation and attendant Clifton will be responsible for that while I'm on my pilgrimage. Time to make sure he understands the importance of that duty. We have um, something else that we need to do first. Um, we need to post a proclamation. We need to persuade the pirate. Um, how that happens? I don't even really know. Um, but we need to head to the forest, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so Shepherdess Colleen was enjoying her little forest ramble when she came across a damp, overgrown meadow bisected by a tinkling brook. This is exactly where Belladonna grew, she thought to herself, so she can dig around or she can actually hunt. Um... Is 
have her dig around. Okay, so she did that. She got the stuff that she needed, but I don't exactly know like what comes of this after she does all of this. So we'll see. We will see. Okay, okay. Um, okay, so someone will need to clean out that vault one day. It's a mess. Either way, I found the cloth and now need to find my favorite tailor to fix me up a Jacobin neckerchief, the traditional required neckwear for a pilgrimage. So let's go ahead and... Nope, that's not the one that we needed. Nope, that's not the one that we need. How do I find the tailor? Here we go. Let's ask. Let's... Okay, let's go ahead be friendly to the tailor and then maybe we'll get what we need okay so we're asking her to make the neckerchief hopefully she will do it while i'd love to help you out my loom is currently broken if you can fetch some spare loom parts for me i can make you that neckerchief right away i've heard that there's a loom expert with extra parts who likes to hang around the docks and markets so we're definitely going to do that um tomorrow because we need to eat we need to sleep um, things are, like, there's just so much to do, so much to do before we can go on this pilgrimage. So it is the next morning, and Colleen is going to do a little bit of things. She's going to pay some taxes. She's going to give a sermon. She's also going to teach the attendant, um, a lesson. So definitely going to have her go ahead and handle these things before she, she can also ask him for spare loom parts. How lovely. So I'll have her do that, and then she'll do the things she needs to do at the church um, so that we can make sure that things are done in a good fashion, you know? Just because, you know, Colleen is technically the royal consort, like, there's definitely things that she can do to make sure that she is doing her part for Serenity. And I think this pilgrimage is one way that she can do so. Okay, so she got the spare loom parts. Um, she's also going to, you know, just ask him some questions so that she can also, um, teach him this lesson that she wants to teach him before she's gone, um, on her pilgrimage, because we want to make sure that, um, you know, he gets it and he understands, um, what is needed of him while she is gone right he needs to make sure that he is handling everything um and perhaps you know colleen is you know thinking a bit too much of like all the things that she needs to do but i think if she makes sure that she is doing the things that she can oh she's not focused enough right now to do it okay so when she gets better focused she can do it um she needs to give a sermon. At 1 p.m., I'll have her do that. Ask the tailor to make a kerchief, but we'll wait for the sermon. Um, let's go ahead and get some conversions happening while we wait. Okay, so we should be able... Yeah, we can teach him the lesson now. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to teach him the lesson. Um, we'll be here until 1 p.m. so that we can give the sermon. And then we'll do the other things that we need to do. The Jacobins in our kingdom count on us to be their connection to the Watcher. We must serve them, and absolution is one of the few divine tools we have to do so. To be true, to truly be a Jacobin leader, one must understand the power and importance of absolution. I have taught you the most important lessons of handling the church while I am gone. Jacob, guide you. Okay, so she needs to ask there and reflect on the Watcher for one hour. So we can do that after our sermon, and then we'll go talk to the um, tailor, and then hopefully, 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 we can go on our pilgrimage, because the sermon, it should be 
about to begin um, in just a little bit. Okay, so they liked her sermon and the church received 226 simul in donations. Um, we need to reflect on the watcher for an hour. So let's go ahead and do the reflection on the um, watcher. And then we will ask the tailor for our kerchief. So we are going ahead and asking for the tailor to make our kerchief. And she said, thanks for getting me those parts. I'll have your neckerchief ready to go in an hour or so. So we need to check back in an hour for our thing. In the meantime, we could likely go back to the church and lead a sermon. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, because we can set the time for 6 p.m. and then give our sermon now. And then we'll be back and able to go ahead and do what we need to do. Okay, so she has finished her sermon. We are going to go and get our neckerchief from the tailor. And then we are going to make sure that we get some food and some sleep because we are struggling. So it is the next morning and Colleen just wants to make sure you know that she is spending just a little bit of time with her husband before she leaves because she knows that she's going to be on this pilgrimage and she doesn't know for how long she'll be gone, but she wants to make sure that he knows how much she cares about him and how much she loves him. And so she's just taking a little bit of time to show him some love and care. So Colleen has made it to the beach and she is now about to pack her belongings on the ship for her pilgrimage. Um, she said goodbye to her husband and now she is just getting prepared to go. Um, hopefully her pilgrimage will be successful and it will provide, I guess you can say, some bolstering to her Jacobin faith. So everything is packed safely on the ship. Have I forgotten anything? Of course. I should prepare myself a meal for the long trip. A big bowl of vegetable stew would be a great thing to take along. So we'll have her get some stew ready. We need to go to the village first so we can get some vegetables. But then get some stew ready and be ready to go. So Colleen is about to make her pilgrimage. She is headed to the boat where her belongings are. She has her stew and hopefully things will go well for our Jacobin priest and Oliver's wife. As the ship sails off into the distance, shepherdess Colleen sighed contentedly. She was off on the trip of a lifetime. Jacob's holy birthplace awaited her, and she looked forward to both the journey there and the spiritual renewal that awaited. What could possibly go wrong? So Colleen has gone and she has went on her pilgrimage. Um, hopefully things will be okay for Oliver while Colleen is gone. I am so happy for her. Um, so Shepherdess Colleen felt the fresh air on her face and it almost felt a bit like the watcher was providing the wind that was pushing the boat toward its destination. The sky was clear and the water looked smooth ahead. Colleen turned and went to rest below the deck. They would arrive soon and she wanted to be fully rested for the greatest adventure she might ever have. So hopefully while she's gone, things will be great for Oliver. Um, this was definitely something out of the realm of what we've done so far in here. We've only been focusing on Oliver, but now that he's married and there's the possibility that one day they can have an heir, making sure that we also spend some time with Colleen is definitely important. So if you enjoyed this quest, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like to see me play Sims or other games live, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash I'm Tasha Monet. As always, I'm sending positive vibes your way. I'm Tasha Monet. See you next time. Sometimes I feel like I done lost it. And I don't even really know the cost yet. But every time fear is on my mind, you remind my soul that I'm free. I know I can't go on my own. You came so I wouldn't have to go it alone. You took the long road so you could show me home. Found love better than I've ever known. So now I know that I can say you are exalted above everything on the earth that I've seen. Cause I know that my dreams come alive in the love that you promised to me. I'll keep singing.